Wow. Hey boys, how are you? Are we riding today? Yep. Okay. Just for, our friends. for real, okay. Let's uh, ride around, uh, around here, okay? Yep. Okay. We're gonna be doing a lot of laps over here in uh, Legazpi Boulevard. It's one of the most, I, I could really say it's, it's, it's my favorite course here in uh, Legazpi City. It's six kilometers long. One whole loop is completely six kilometers. And then um, we're gonna be maybe doing uh, five laps. Every lap, we're gonna be testing Carl's bike fit. And uh, part of that is we're gonna do some pace line riding, how to increase speed slowly. But uh, we're not gonna bore you with the entire five laps. It's gonna be super boring, but we wanted to share with you how Carl and Tommy the Tank sets up a lead out train. Uh, it's one of those games that we just play around. We call it play bike afternoon. Uh, we got some kids who's gonna be joining us. Uh, they're on their mountain bikes, they're on their favorite bikes. Remember, cycling is for everyone, so we wanna invite anyone who wants to join us ride it's a perfect afternoon sun is out watch for the lead out as uh, carl sets up the speed from 30 kilometers per hour and we're gonna attempt to uh breach the 50 kilometer per hour mark so, and i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna meet up with carl and tom they're up ahead in the bridge and uh we'll see you there okay bye Slowly accelerate, I'm behind you. Stay with that motorcycle. Very good. Very good. Constant communication and sharing your emotions with your lead out man. It's part of the uh, feedback process because I always believe that real time feedback is more effective instead of just giving some pointers after the ride. So the only way I can understand what is happening is I have to really be behind um, Carl. So this is what happens every single 
biomechanics program. It's part of the program that you'll be paying for. It's part of your investment. It's not enough that we stay in the studio. We had to see how Carl would stand up, accelerate, use his handlebar, the way he is pedaling. And to be there at the moment gives a huge difference because we both can feel what 10% grade is all about, 5% grade is all about. And that's the biggest main difference between traditional bike fitting in the studio and actual testing on the real roads. And as you can see, we were very happy with the result with Carl. He was a little bit more aero right now. He's a little bit more stable. One of the things that he realized and understood from the start of the program was he was not twisting around from side to side. He was telling me a while ago before this program, he would find himself swinging from side to side, just trying to put out some torque. But this time, his core was so much more stable. So this is the goal of every biomechanics program is how to increase your level of efficiency. And level of efficiency can be achieved if you can focus all the torque on your hips and on the legs with your arms, back, and upper body being more stable. So you can uh, contact Carl how he felt and um, he can share with you how he, it drastically changed his uh, cycling. So we will be here in Albay until Monday. If you want to meet us here at Legaspi Boulevard, we'll just be doing laps here. Thanks for watching. Nothing to prove, nothing to prove. <laughs> nothing to prove, huh? <laughs> you don't have to impress the kids, Tom. They already know who's the big dog. Ah, okay. Thank you.
Okay. Uh, very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. You're welcome, man. Thank you. Does it fit? Oh, it yes. Yes. fits perfectly. Excellent. Okay. Good. CRZ Nation, man. Okay, boys, we'll see you at the boulevard, huh? Yep. Okay, where's your bike? Oh, here. Oh, awesome. Very nice. I like the yellow. Very cool. Okay. They got a service center here, so if you get in. start the lead out just going home we've done some laps so Carl your the assignment is you have we have to work together to slowly build up the speed a good lead out group makes sure that everyone is together okay so when I say too fast just go maybe 0.5 kilometers per hour slower and then when you say go a little bit faster 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 okay okay let's take a U-turn here we go boys we gotta go together, huh? Thanks for watching.